Hey, this is Moo, and welcome back to XCOM Enemy Unknown. Uh, we've just uh, finished our big battleship mission. Uh, let's see, where the heck did I put that? You know, I don't even know where I put the... I guess that's... Is that the Gollop Chamber? I don't know. Anyway, we're building... No, it's still under construction. We've got nine days until the Gollop Chamber is complete. We've got people coming out of the tanks in six days. Four days until we get a game-breaking weapon. And I think we're really coming into the home stretch. I don't want, I mean, I could sit around and train everyone to max level, blah, 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 but that's really stupid. I wonder if there's, is there anything else that we could be building right now that we need to be building? I don't think there is. I think we're pretty well equipped. Uh, I'm ignoring these, most of these special armors just because I think that more hit points in general is more, more important. I haven't even bothered building a shiv yet. One barracks capacity. You see, I don't even understand this whole barracks capacity thing. The barracks... In in the Enemy Unknown, I don't think there is such a thing as barracks capacity. I think you pretty much have the barracks that... You know, the barracks that you have, and... There's no... There's no way to increase that, nor does it really matter. I suppose it just means if for some reason you have 99 soldiers, you can't build a ship. I don't know why you would have 99 soldiers, but there you go. Okay, uh, they want heavy floater corpses. What the shit? I mean, I don't need the heavy floater corpses, nor do I need scientists, but maybe they'll be maybe they'll be happy. Whatever. Looks like some very lucky people are going to be recovering soon. They expect to thanks those wrecked floaters. What? I didn't even read it. Do they want them for medical research? They're like, what? Uh, the, are they been? They're implanting crippled people with hovercrafts or something? I don't know. Oh, you crazy Nigerians. And your email scams. Okay, Guide and Fusion Launcher is done. We can build a blaster launcher now. Uh, the blaster launcher is ridiculous. Uh, pretty much, you, you give this to a heavy, and you say, blow this up here, and like a sphere pops out of this thing. It just kind of floats lazily to the area, taking elevators and ramps and doors and what have you until it gets the target, at which point it explodes and kills everyone nearby, which is pretty awesome. Let's finish this as long as we have it available. I don't think we're gonna actually care. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. Whatever. I think... I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. Ah, uh, Frau Valen, you crazy... Not an ex, not totally not an ex-Nazi living under an assumed name after a sex change. Come on, out of the tanks! Oh shit, won't get it. Okay, uh, it's a small scout. Whatever. <laughs> Look at this. We got three demons ready to go after it. One day to side testing complete. I wonder if we could wait one day. Nah, it doesn't really matter. Bangs out. Nearing strike range. Oh no, we took a small amount of damage and dropped with one shot. Uh, six ethereal muton. Well, I guess we can capture an ethereal. Okay, let me see who we've got here. I think we can get rid of Corporal Lane for a moment. Hang on, I'll be right back as soon as I figure out like who we should bring and who we shouldn't. We're definitely bringing these guys. Okay, well, we've only uh, really traded out for Major Grell so that he can we can try and get him to Colonel. I've also given him an arc throw in case we get an opportunity to capture an Ethereal, which I guess I would like to do. I'm not really sure what I would learn from him at this point, but let's go. Strike one. Prepare for landing. We could have just taken a van there, really. Get ready to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Yeah. Okay. Why is it always so dark? Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings from here. Strike one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Well, this was only a small ship, so the there's going to be fewer guys to deal with. But it's, uh, from our intelligence report, it was all mutant elites and ethereals. Cover here. Let's see what you see if you see see if you can see anything now. 
Uh, there's a little bit of heat damage in this direction, more in this direction. Let me guess it's in this. Let me guess it's over there. Eh, let's just start moving people up. I don't think we're going to get to see it this turn. Should I just run Pinky all the way up? You know, the, the heavies really have to be close, and they move so damn slow. I'm gonna risk moving. I'm gonna risk dashing him all the way up in the first turn. There we go. Nothing bad happened. Yeah, I still don't see it. Oh well. Let's just keep moving people up and fanning out, fanning out a little bit. Snipers can get a little bit closer. Just so they can have good overwatch positions. Oh! Look at that. Wow, that's a lot of elites. Hope this wasn't a mistake. Maybe I should have kept the snipers a little further back. Whatever. Adjusting sights. Okay, let's see. Should I keep the snipers where they are? Yeah, why not? Uh, let's just see if we can headshot someone here. These guys both have pretty good cover. Let's try this one. Oh, that was easy. One. Let's see, twos. You have sight to this other one, right? You know what? Let's hold off on a second because I, I, I want to get the opportunity to advance some other people up and that might expose some more targets. I know that there's targets in this direction. So. Let's move you to full cover this way. Ah, whatever. Here. Nope. I'll save you for Overwatch if that makes any sense. Um, problem is, if I move Kitty up here, she has no cover from that direction, can get flanked. Now I can move her here. Thirty-nine percent. That's freaking terrible. Man. Wide. It's awful. Can I get close? I can't really get that close, unfortunately. Well, I can I can run up to there. Sure, what the hell. Now, this is a guy who doesn't have double shot. I should have just, like, fired him or something so I don't accidentally pick him. I don't know why I picked Flush. I've got a visual. Yeah, there's some bad... There are the other bad guys who moved over there before. They're shifting their attack! Really? What a surprise. Uh, oh, they've managed to flank my sniper. That's not good. If they could see him. Missed. Terrible. Damn, missed the target. Um, who else has full actions left? Well, I can see three guys with... Frickin' twos. Let's see. Mac fan. Where can you go where you won't be killed? How about over here? You start opening up on this guy in the corner. Two hit points left. I really want to kill that guy. Hmm. Who can I see from here? Well, okay, there's one shot there and I'm hoping I can double tap so I can shoot at someone else, so... Here, let's shoot this guy first. The only reason I'm a little more concerned with the guys on the side is because they're flanking the other sniper. And... this guy... Shit. 55%, 75%. Maybe I can... 
get him a little bonus with... No, I can't even see... No, I'm too low. I can't see him. There. Well, that was stupid. And all I have now is... Twos. Now, what the hell? I'll try the guy on the side. Nope. Oh, well, I hit him, but not for as much as I thought I would. They're trying to pull back. They're starting to lose ground. They are? I'm, no, 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 no. Uh, he's shooting the flank guy. Oh, and thank God he missed. That's a big gun. Uh oh, shit! That was a lot of damage. Uh, and now I'm flanked in a couple of positions. Uh, gee, uh, who needs it? Does anyone need experience? Well, I've got the sniper who needs experience, this assault. I think everyone else is a colonel. Oh, and this medic. I can't get the medic close enough to finish that guy. Eighty-five percent, forty-five percent. Hold off. Fuck it. Can you just go kill him here? Oh, and there's the ship, totally in the opposite direction from where I thought it would be. All right, just get to killing. This guy's out in the open. Where's my other sniper who needs experience? There you go. And now I gotta start moving everyone else up. Why don't you go over here? Since you're already wounded. Take, uh, take Overwatch. Yeah, crap. Whatever, here. And Kitty. She can dash pretty damn far, but I don't want to get her in too much trouble. Ah, what the hell. We need to start moving a little bit more quickly. You know, there might just be the ethereal left, honestly. Wow, there's kind of shit for cover up here. All right, Kitty, why don't you take this position? Maybe you can hear something from there. And I'm going to have to start running up the snipers. Hmm. Oh, whatever, that looks good. Seth, a lot you dash so you can get closer. Maybe you'll be able to hit something. Mac fan, take full cover by the door. Moving a little more recklessly than I normally do. And you go over here. Don't hear anything. Good to go. I'm just taking a reloaded. Taking the opportunity here to load up and get everyone in position. Good to go. I honestly don't really care if he dies because he has flush. Let's do this. He suffers from my bad decisions as a commander. Just as it should be. Okay. What was that sound? That's probably the ethereal. 
in the command center. Well, it's a small ship, so maybe it's only... Oh, it's only one room. Look at that. Somehow I'm going to shoot him through that wall, damn you. Maybe I should have taken Overwatch. Alright, I'm going to try and save the guys who have... Um, who have arc throwers. Now, this guy ran around the side. Okay, first I'm just going to get rid of this... Mutant Elite, like that. This is a really quick mission. Um, I'm gonna have to weaken this guy up. Guess I can start doing that with pistols. Actually, where's Kitty? Kitty's over here. Uh, I wanted Kitty because she has a plasma rifle, not a sniper weapon, and no arc thrower. So I can start wearing this guy down. Now I shoot him with a pistol. It's really weird when stuff goes almost exactly the way I want it to. And... Here, I'll just start zapping. Zap to the extreme! Go, Sonichu! Sleep tight. Is that it? Tell the doc we're bringing home a live one. We nailed it, Commander. Wow. Accomplished. That is insanely fast. We can do an interrogation, I guess, and do some more upgrades before we finish the episode. At least Not get the guys. A single casualty. I'm certainly impressed Let's get the guys out of the tank. Combat abilities. Excellent work, Commander. Capturing the alien subjects alive allows for a much wider range of yes. experimentation. I know. You, expired specimens. I know you get off on this shit. Okay, we've got one day left on the fusion lens, and we'll interrogate the ethereal. Let's see, did anyone have Psy Powers? Oh, Umberto Rivera has Psy Powers. We have to get rid of this other Luthuli and Dirk Peters. Because... You're just not what we're really looking for in a new hire. I mean, we want like a willingness to... The ability to learn, willingness to work hard, ability to follow instructions, good attendance, and one in a million magical powers. You don't have them. You know, it's if I had more uh, magic power squaddies, I would have sent all of them on that mission because it was a small, small ship, and they probably would have done okay. Well, I don't know. No, they probably would have all panicked and died. All right. Well, I guess we can throw some more. I don't even know if these guys are gonna make it through the tanks by the time we have to finish the game. But here, let's see. Kelly, Ryan, and Wolf. You're up. I don't think... Oh, you know, we could put MacFan in, but I kind of don't want to. Well, you know what? I'm going to stretch out long enough just so MacFan can get through the... Uh, get through the process. First, I'm going to strip his equipment, because... Honestly, I don't... I, I'm a little unsure. I think that they might not automatically take the equipment away once they go in the tank. So, sorry Mac fan, taking away your stuff while I torture you for a while. Yeah, he's the last colonel to go in. So, that means I gotta stretch this game out for at least another 10, 10 game days. Fusion Land's done. Now let's interrogate someone because it's fun. Here I am with my old style Kindle. This guy's a dick. Lower the torture shield. 
Well, I remember the alien research. Oh, all technology research credit. It doesn't give us anything. Whatever. At least Frau Valen got to torture someone. I know how, how she likes that. Four days to Gallup Chamber, and then another ten days to get MacFan out of the tanks to discover he doesn't have side powers. So we can finish the Gallup Chamber. There it is. And I think from the moment that we have this, and we have a soldier who's capable of triggering it, we can enter the end game. But because I just threw MacFan in to the tanks, uh, I don't want to do that immediately, even if I can. Gala Chamber online. Let's take a look at this Gallup Chamber here. Where the heck is it? Oh, there it is. It's clear that the alien device will not respond to attempts at physical interaction. Yeah, okay. However, if we can find a soldier with strong enough psionic abilities, we may be able to activate it. Now, I don't know if that means that they just need more willpower. I think it's just they need a high enough willpower, and you can accomplish that by simply putting someone into a suit of psi armor. Because I haven't leveled anyone past the first ability on psionics anyway. Let's finish our... See if we can get through our side testing if we can't. Eh. Uh, you know what? I'll leave that for next time. We've got a lot of stuff built, even though the mission was very short. So, let's find out uh, how deeply we're disappointed in Pedantic's lack of psionic abilities next time. Thanks for watching.